All right, so now we're on the adult unconscious choking victim. This is the person we were working with when they were conscious and choking. Our efforts did not get the obstruction clear. They were going unconscious, so we helped lower them to ground ideally. And as soon as they were lowered to the ground, that's our cue to access the emergency medical services, call 911, or call a code. At this point, once we lower them down to the ground after calling 911, we're going to go straight to 30 chest compressions. We're going to do those 30 chest compressions and then open the airway. Look in the mouth, check for an obstruction. If we see the obstruction, we're actually going to reach in. Now watch as we reach in here. We're actually going to go with a hooking motion with one finger to the side of the mouth, go towards the back, grab that object, and pull it out. Once the object is out, we're going to go ahead and cover the mouth and nose with a mask and attempt one breath. If we attempt one breath, it does not go in. We reposition the head. Attempt another breath. It still doesn't go in, so we go right back to 30 chest compressions. After 30 chest compressions, we put our mask back on the face, attempt a breath. If it doesn't go in, we reposition the head, attempt another breath. If it still doesn't go in, we go right back to chest compressions. If at some point when we try the rescue breath and it goes in, we're going to deliver a second rescue breath and then check for a carotid pulse, no longer than 10 seconds. If we find that there is a good palpable or feelable pulse, easily feelable, we know that this person is not in cardiac arrest. But if they're not breathing, we're going to begin rescue breathing. If there's no pulse, no breathing, we're going to go right straight into CPR. Okay, so I just lowered him to the ground. He was conscious and choking. Now he's unconscious. Uh, now I'm going to call 911. Hey, you in the plaid shirt, go call 911. I've got a person who's now unconscious from choking. Please return. Let me know that you've called them. At this point, I'm going to start my 30 chest compressions. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven, eight and nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I don't see anything. I'm going to attempt a breath. Nothing went in. I'm going to reposition once. Try another breath. Nothing went in. I'm going to continue 30 more chest compressions. Two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Look in the mouth. I still don't see anything. I'm going to try a breath. Didn't go in, I'm gonna reposition. Try again. Nothing went in, I'm gonna continue 30 chest compressions. After 30 chest compressions, if I tried a breath and it went in, I'd give another breath, check for a pulse. If there was an easily palpable pulse, but no breathing, I'd continue rescue breathing. If there was no pulse and no breathing, I'd start CPR. 